Welcome everybody to the Boots and Ballads a giveaway. Oh yeah. Reamer says I was in super villain mode, but we're finally ready to give away these Ariad Legacy Autos. Yeah. I was in super villain mode. Are you feeling lucky today? Yeah, you never know. Whoa, some crazy internet random voodoo shit happened and I lost my shit. I did. Everybody saw my shit get lost on YouTube. Well, it happens. More often than I like. And now the world saw it. So cheers to that, everybody. We got it. It happens. You'll it happens. Fine. Man, there's nothing worse than gremlins in the works and not knowing what to do about it. So what we did, shut down the whole system, rebooted it, and now here we are. A little bit late, but we're here. We're here. We're here. How's, it, how's everybody doing today? Jeremiah Craig here, coming at you. Of course, joined by my beautiful wife, Brenna. Let's do the boot check because everybody always wants to know what boots we're wearing on the Boots and Ballads live streams. I want to know what boots you are wearing, so put that in the chat right here. I got the uh, area, <laughs> the Circuit Patriots here. How do you get your leg up so high? Oh. <laughs> this is this is how we do it for the cameras. This is how we do it for the folks at home. Oh, put your legs down quick. The cops are coming for us. <laughs> I, of course, have the Ariat Legacy Arto here, the original ones. You can see I've been wearing them quite a bit. Uh, they got some nice wear going on on the sole, but still comfy. Probably the most comfy pair of boots I own. <laughs> they are comfy. The The insoles the area has are always on point. ATS. The, you got the ATS. I got, I'm got. i sporting the 4LRs. And we are going to be talking about that later on in the stream today. We got a whole, a whole outline scheduled with a segment here for you. And if this is your first Boots and Ballads, usually I don't lose my shit when warming up. And I usually start on time. It's a little bit more professional, okay? So... Usually it's a little bit more professional. <laughs> it's probably a full moon or something, or Mercury so something, or something. Something's, something wrong there. something's wrong with the world or with the internet. <laughs> it was so confusing. We're moving on. We're moving on because if this is your first Boots and Ballads live stream, it's sort of like a variety show where we play some music, we give some stuff away, we talk boots, we answer some of your questions, we can chit chat, you know how it goes. So. It's just sort of a fun time, and then at the end, we give away the boots. But there are giveaways for the folks here live with us today. So you watching right now live have a chance to win some stuff, and it's going to be so much fun. Thank you so much for your patience and for joining me here today. So first things first, though. Now, you guys all filled out that form on my website. Not as many... Um, entries to this one as in the past but this is the first women's only giveaway so it makes sense I mean most of the folks who watch me so up to this point have been mainly males I believe 90% so it's 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 exciting to me that we get to expand that audience a little bit more mm -hmm. so didn't get as many entries into this one but I want to show you guys what the results were to the one question that I always ask sort of probing your thoughts on things and that was what do you expect to pay for a good pair of boots now mm. there it is so here are the results so we got 64 responses to this question and as you can see the majority of people 43 0.8% expect to spend 200 to 300 dollars and about a third of the people uh, expect to spend uh, between 100 and 200 dollars but we have the 12.5% there 
of people who expect to pay three hundred to five hundred. I so, want to be their friends. They right? get that kind of money. Right? And let's let's be friends. So, <laughs> over half of the folks, over thirty of you, which is a pretty good sample size, over thirty of you expect to pay two hundred to five hundred dollars on a new pair of boots uh, for it to be quote unquote good. And I can understand that. I mean, that's usually the range that. I like to pitch people on if you want a really long lasting boot or long lasting uh, more than others I would expect it to be like in the 200 to 300 dollar start range and then when you go up from there uh, that's just it just keeps getting better and better Brennan what do you think about that unless you got one of these that's true the these are under 200 dollars yeah they ended up coming in at 189 which sort of, the data doesn't reflect that here, but this is still a great boot for that price range. Oh yeah, these are incredible. Yeah. We're gonna talk about it a little bit later, but specifically ladies boots, I feel like are so plagued with cheap quality and uncomfortability, and you're like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about that later. Yep, so really cool results here. Thank you so much to everybody who answered that question. Um, it's always fun to look into your guys' perspective on things, and to share those with you so that we all kind of have an idea of where we're all coming from in the cowboy boot community. It's very fun, um, and it's always cool to see. So, without further ado, let's do a giveaway. Let's just kick things right off and do a little giveaway. Brenna, let's do, let's do this one first this one? because we have a special giveaway um today on both giveaways coming from mariposa originals and brenna is actually wearing a piece of jewelry from mariposa originals i love it it's so cool now it's owned by monica pena who is probably on the stream right now and she is a huge supporter of this channel and the facebook group and she, she's just amazing. So one of the things that I think is so cool about the Cowboy Boot community is that we support each other. And if you are interested in getting some jewelry, you got to support Monica and Mariposa Originals because she is making some great stuff. And her Etsy URL is right there on screen. But let's get into this giveaway. What is it, Brenna? Can you open up that bag and yeah. show it? All the folks at home. So for anyone who's been admiring my necklace, I'm sure there's a few of you. Um, this is a very similar necklace that we're going to be giving away. It's the gray, it's like a gray blue kind of glass bead. And at the bottom, she does have um, a piece of uh, nice metal, a beautiful glass bead here. This one is a fleur de lis. Fleur de lis. You guys can see that. Here, I'll um, hold it up closer. Yeah, get it up right up there because it's really pretty. I have one that has a, a feather on it. I really like it. I think it's so beautiful it has a little bit of weight to it which just makes it kind of like hang really nicely and i really like that um it's really nice but it's gorgeous and it comes in this cute little satchel so mm -hmm. i mean guys if you win your lady will be happy about it, this it's gonna make a great gift <laughs> for sure you're not sleeping on the couch tonight <laughs> and then we also okay. got a phone wallet a uh a Old Boots Got Sold bottle opener made by Twisted Willow Fabrication and my first CD, Gardener Hands. Now that's all going on right now. So if you if you comment now, and I'm just gonna pull up pull up the stream on the uh, on my phone here because it's just a lot easier to do it. So I'm gonna put in comment now. And every comment after that will be entered to win right now. So, I have a new song that I want to play for you guys. This is being released next Friday. And it's, it's, a, it's sort of a different kind of song for me. Um, but I'm excited to release it. Different. No? You like it? It's I pretty normal? Like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of about uh, going through a, a tough period in your life and trying to make that transition into the next period of your life where you've noticed that you've hit the wall and then you're like, what's after? Like, what comes next? And I feel like we're sort of all in that mode right now 
2020 is just that year for a lot of people. Slog. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be on Spotify next week uh, and all other streaming platforms, and I hope you like it. heavy hand the pen drags dry deep breaths have only helped the bubble grow to this size yes it bets it's a burst or continue the hurt from inside cause there's no telling what's next and no way to check over the rise but the past starts to fade as I close Chapter, the presence of haze, and I, I don't know what's after. Step out in the sun, skeptical of the shine. I know I'm never alone. But still I want this path to be mine I don't know the way and I already feel behind What can I do in the light while I still have the time? Yeah, the past starts to fade As I close out the chapter The presence of hate it was before and we did okay back then the worst voices say you think you got troubles now just wait till you see what lies round the bend and i smile and say let me tell you what's after yeah i can take this chance and make my loved ones proud and show every possibility the worst failure fears can't hold me now since I've already shaken free. So watch and let me show you what's after. I step out in the sun, excited by the shine. I know I'm never alone and that this path is mine. was what's after that is gonna be out next friday august 21st so be sure to catch that on uh spotify or whatever platform that you listen to most so thanks for listening to that now it's time to find the winner so we're just gonna go to a random number generator and we have 25 folks in here right now. So that means it's gonna be one out of 25. And then I will either count up from the top or from the bottom, and we will have our winner. All right, so we might as well make it from the bottom. All right, Lucas White, you get it. You get it. Where is it? Oh, I forget which one. There it is. Yes! Woo! Lucas! Lucas! You get the necklace from Mariposa Originals, the Old Boots Got Sold bottle opener, the wallet from Wallaroo, and my CD. Congrats, Lucas. Congrats. We got our first winner of the day. Cheers to you, Lucas. Cheers to you. Thank you for being here. Boom! Which... Let's let's do that cheers as a good transition there. <laughs> because I want to show you guys some new merch that we got. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen us uh, sipping on these mugs, but they're <laughs> kind of special. They are special. <laughs> these are brand new Jeremiah Craig mugs. So we got a bunch of them here. Can you grab those other two over yeah. there too? 
So these are brand new, engraved by Twisted Willow Fabrication, and they are now available on my store, jeremiahcraig.com slash store. So we got a couple of different ones. We got stainless steel here. Um, actually, no, not this one. Yeah, this one. So these two are the same, 16 ounce stainless steel, just one's green and one's stainless steel. And then we got the mug here, which is 15 ounces and a wine or cocktail tumbler here. And they all come with tops too. And it keeps your beverages pretty cold or For a few warm. Hours. Yeah. Like whether you want to put coffee in here or, or not or something else. Well, cool. Them up so they can see the size difference. Yeah, yeah. If we hold them right next to each other. So obviously the tumbler is a little bit smaller. You got your handled mug, which is a touch bigger and mm -hmm. then this one is definitely a few ounces bigger than this one but in case you guys were wondering how yeah. those look right next to each other it, these are these are so cool uh twisted will fabrications my dad's company and uh just making some great stuff there but it gets even better because not only do you get the mug but on the back of it is a little qr code here don't show it for too long brenna because that QR code will lead you to a new thing that I got going called the Boots and Ballads Vault. And I wanna show you guys what it is. You can only get to this page through that code there. Um, and I'll just scan it really quick to show you guys. So you take your phone, you get your QR code scanner, and you just sort of hold it up here. It wants me to rate the app right now. Come on, I'm live. So. You just sort of hold it up there and come on, read it. Are Maybe you really? Because of the light. It might be because of this, the light is so bright. You guys don't have YouTube lights there it in is. your house, right? Yeah. <laughs> YouTube lights. <laughs> so then you open it and it will take you to a new page on my website called the Boots and Ballads Vault here, where you get pretty much access to some new stuff and also some free stuff. So if you haven't won one of my CDs yet, you can do that there. But also, I'm also starting to try some um, some belt buckles. <laughs> you gotta cover your face <laughs> for it to automatically it focus. It. it won't do it, it won't do it. So, see, look at that, new belt buckles. <laughs> yeah, lean this way, lean this way. So new belt buckles. Um, so I got three <laughs> test belt buckles and you can get those on the Boots and Ballads vault but you can only get to the Boots and Ballads vault if you get one of the pieces of merch that has the code on it and right now that's only on the mugs and the boot jacks. So if you want one of the brand new um, one of the brand new belt buckles for uh, about less than half of the price of what they're gonna be then you Hit me up. Hit me up and get one of these mugs. It's going to be so much fun. That Boots and Valves vault is going to be so much fun. I mean... So cheers to you. The cups are fun, too. The cups are awesome. <laughs> the cups are awesome. But you also get some fun access to Boots and Valves vault through that stuff, too. So uh, you can find the new mugs at jeremiahcraig.com slash store. So with that, let's move on and talk about our... Our um, segment for today and Brenna had something that she wanted to talk about specifically and what was it what was it because you said what segment are we gonna be doing because I have an idea and then you told me I was like oh that's a great idea that was sweet so so this is a little bit more for the ladies that are on yeah, the stream yeah but I mean guys this could be for you too if you I mean buy boots for your woman or you're out there helping her buy stuff. I mean, there's a lot of you go shopping together, I guess, pre-COVID times. <laughs> but there's something that I care about, and that is, like, a fashion boot versus a Western boot. Like, what's the quality that you're getting between those two? A lot of people are going to say, oh, Fry is so great. You know, you got to get boots from Fry. Or they'll say a certain brand, like Steve Madden or Aldo or whatever, and you're like, that boot is so expensive. That's like a $300 boot, and it's not good. You're welted. The sole is so thin. There's no insole. There's no lemon wood pegs. There's no nails. There's no yeah. nothing. And you're like, why am I paying that much for something that looks like that? That doesn't make any sense. It's fashion and function. Yeah. 
Yeah, so let's get into it. <laughs> so I think there's a few differences. When you look at a boot, let's here, let's pull out like... Get the boot rack going. <laughs> I love that thing. So there's like some booties that I wear pretty often. Um, so that I think is like a Sam Edelman... Steve Madden. Steve Madden. So that's a Steve Madden. This is a Fry boot. I love these boots. I wear these all the time. But these are what you would consider like uh, a fashion boot. Like, look at how thin the sole is. Yeah, that's super this. thin, like, and it's just, not even stitched at all. You just... bend it with one with one finger. It's just like glued on there. It's uh -huh. barely. Well, this one has some stitches, but I mean, way more expensive than this guy yeah and this is already like falling apart you can see how it's coming apart there's a ton of wear on the suede on the toe yeah cloth lining but this is like a 60 dollar booty this is probably like 150 new i think i got these secondhand somewhere mm -hmm. um but these compared to like what i'm wearing right now the ariats I'm not gonna take them off because that would be gross to show you guys my feet. But <laughs> <laughs> if you if you put these boots next to each other, you're gonna notice a lot of differences. And when you're shopping for a boot online, it can be really tough to know what you're gonna get. So here's some things that you guys should think about. You should think about the quality of the materials. If you're getting it from a brand like Steve Madden, who obviously sells their boots almost everywhere, it's gonna be like 120 bucks. With $120, do you really think that they can give you the thick sole that's going to be replaceable. There's no stitching, obviously. There's like nothing that's a quality indicator of a boot. So, so how do you think that that's really going to go? Mm -hmm. I think price is a good indicator of durability, but not always. Something like a fry boot, price is not a good indicator of durability at all. I would say that these things, because they're so thin, even though they are beautifully crafted, they're just so thin, they just fall apart. The sole on this one is pretty eaten up and I haven't worn these that much. Um, so I think there's just a lot of things that you gotta think about. Yeah. And for the price point, you know, if you get something like the Ariats, that's, what do we say, 185? It was 180. Yeah, 190. By the time you get it all shipped to your house, it's 190. Something like this is probably almost the same price. But I could get the Ariats, okay. <laughs> so the insole is way more comfortable. Yeah. These are like, there's nothing in here for you. You know, if you're getting a fashion boot like this, there's nothing in here. You might have a little bit of cushioning, but that's gonna wear down really, really fast. They're not gonna like last that long. The sole is so thin. Um, and then when you think about the price that you could pay for one boot and have them last the rest of your life, you can't get these resold. They can glue it back one time but after that you gotta throw the boot away and they're gonna wear through on the top really quickly you're gonna be more prone to stains you can't take care of these the same way that you can with like a real leather boot so it might be worth spending a little bit more and getting less pairs of boots because you can actually have it for almost the rest of your life these ariat soles are twice as thick as either of these fashion soles so they're going to wear through a lot less quickly, mm -hmm. and then you can also get them resold. Mm -hmm. So the boot itself is just going to last you two to three to four times as long as something that just looks pretty. Right. Which is a quick fashion. So what can you tell people about the look of a fashion boot to maybe a more functional boot that still looks good, but isn't like from one of the main fashion brands like Steve Madden? Yeah, I think it all comes down to, to what you want. Mm -hmm. If you want a boot that's going to last you for a long time, you got to look for things like the stitching on the bottom of the boot. you got to look for things like nails and pegs and, um, and on every single boot too. Because you see, these are both fashion boots. You can see the heel height is almost exactly the same. They look, the silhouette is extremely similar. These are just like maybe different price points. I think this one is slightly cheaper than the Fry's. But you can see, even the difference here, there's absolutely no stitching on this boot, there's no pegs, there's no nails, there's no nothing. Fry barely made an effort here, but they did. <laughs> you know, they did. They got the rubber here, they got some stitching. Um, so when you're evaluating, just like you would any other kind of boot, you have to pay attention. Even if you go on something like Lane or Freebird and you're browsing through their boots, you might look at their actual full cowboy boot and you might see, if you if they have pictures of the sole, you might be able to see all of that stuff. 
but then you click over to their booty and they don't actually have that stuff on their booty. Mm -hmm. So don't get caught up in the brand because sometimes the brand doesn't actually mean anything. Boots are made in different places. Every single line of boots that someone does is made in a different place. Ariat alone manufactures in what? Mexico, Indonesia, America. Vietnam, China. <laughs> and those are all different lines. And they're yeah. all going to be made slightly differently. And yeah. they all have different price points and different things that you have to keep in mind. So just because they have a brand name like Ariat, that doesn't necessarily mean the quality is going to be there or that it's going to look and feel and last the way that you want it to. So if you're looking online, make sure that you get pictures of the soles. Mm -hmm. If a retailer doesn't have a picture of the sole, then it's probably not a quality boot, unless you're buying off somewhere like Poshmark and they just kind of forgot. Yeah. But if you're going somewhere and you're trying to buy a boot new, if there's no pictures of the sole online, it's probably not Goodyear welted, it's probably not stitched, it's probably not something that is gonna last or you're able to get resold. It's just not. Um, so if they have pictures of the sole, check it out. Right. For sure. On every single pair of boots. Because like I said, brand doesn't necessarily mean anything. I was very disappointed to find that out. <laughs> yeah. You learn the hard way though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. Also the lining. I've noticed mm. that a lot of PVC. cheap boots sort of start out with this P, this uh, polyurethane, like this fake pleather up top to sort of make you look and be like, oh, there's a leather lining. But then about an inch into it, it's cloth. Yeah. And it just feels so cheap and it, it, it's gonna tear. It's not gonna be as good as leather. It's not going to you know, have that anti-microbial um, features. Like I just brutal, I just couldn't pronounce that. <laughs> but um, a boot like this is just gonna stink more because it's got cloth in here. It's gonna hold in that bacteria. Uh, a boot that's all leather lining is just going to be better too and last longer. It's not going to rip as uh, much as a cloth would. So the lining is a really important place to look too. I mean, the Steve Madden profile, it looks good with a rough out until you start yeah. to really to, to pick it apart and say, hey, there's no Goodyear welt on this. The lining is crap. Um, it, it's, it's easy to tell on some of the little construction features of it, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, even when you look at top down at the boot, you don't see any stitches. Mm -hmm. Like, I look top down at these areas, and I see maybe more stitch than I'd like, but I know that they're there, mm -hmm. and I can see them, and that, you know, makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. There, there's a little bit of room to play with. When they're getting resold, there's going to be some actual craftsmanship that's going to happen. They're not just going to, like, peel it off, slap one on, and glue it back, because I think I want it to last. I mean, we talked about this, I think, in the Freebird video. I've had riding boot styles that have been from like Aldo or uh, what's the other one? I don't know. There's hundreds. Everyone makes those. White Mountain. <laughs> yeah. I've had $30 pairs of boots that looked exactly the same. They weren't the same quality. I've had $70 pairs of boots that looked like that. I've had $150 pairs of boots like th that look like that. And they all last like one season, two seasons. You actually wear them around. And then they just kind of like fall apart and you can't resole them because there's nothing to work with because they were just materials they use less materials and they just glue it together so fast so it's like if you just spend a little bit more on something that you're actually gonna like you can actually like wear for multiple seasons you can take care of you can condition because it's real leather it's not pleather mm -hmm. little things like that you're gonna just get more in the long run and they're gonna get a beautiful patina mm -hmm. you're gonna have them forever yep so don't waste your money on like things that aren't gonna last you it's just not worth it exactly worth i feel it. the same way and plus you get a story when you have a boot that's lasted for 10 15 years like those boots are really close to you because you've had them resold like four five six times or whatever yeah. so it's it's fun to wear a boot that much so that they get stories attached to them too and that's not going to happen with a boot like this because once the sole falls off after it's done after a year of regular yeah you just got to throw it away and you feel bad yeah and ladies i know that it, it feels like you want to stay on top of the fashion trends but just be yourself don't shell out a hundred bucks for something that you're only going to wear for one season because it's in trend get something that you actually like that is actually comfortable if it's not comfortable you're never going to wear it we all know that's true we still have high heels we don't wear them. It's fine. <laughs> I'm in denial too. But I mean, if you actually think about it, like a boot like this, is just, it looks plain, but I'm going to wear it all the time. 
a boot that looks like this. I got second hand, so I feel a little bit less bad about getting it, but I mean, it's already falling apart. It's got like one more fall in it. We live in the Northeast. There's gonna be some snow and rain and Salt. you can't protect this. You can't do anything because I don't even think it's real suede. So it's gonna have to get thrown away. And don't even get me started on all the fake leather. It's not even real leather. And then they'll call it like crocodile or something. <laughs> and then they'll charge you $275. It's like, it's not even a real exotic and it feels like crap. You can't condition it. It's going to fall apart, and you want to charge me more? Yeah. The worst ones are the, the snake print, the python print ones, because yeah. it's so in. It's so trendy right now. And they look so they cool look so, online. They look so cool. But they look so bad in person. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> they do. And you can tell. Actually, I was in the office back when we um, actually went into the office, and I was wearing my Alcalas, the real python. And someone walked by, and I saw their shoes, and I was like, oh, those are beautiful shoes. And then I took another step towards them to actually have a conversation about their, like, python boots. And I was like, oh, those are not real python knives. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> actually, your shoes look like shit when I get closer. Oh, and no. I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> not to be snobby, but you can just tell the difference between something that's real and something that's not real. Mm -hmm. And I think if you really want that look you should not use fast fashion because there are so many like ecological and wage implications of fast fashion. Yep. You should invest in a brand that's actually doing small batch production, something like Alkalas or one of those smaller groups that actually cares. Um, Ariat does put a lot of thought into where they manufacture their boots and everything that goes into that. Um, so I don't know about every single one of their boots, but it's something that they at least are thinking about. So just be conscious guys just think about is this something i actually want to spend my money on is this going to last me more than one season do i actually care about it can i condition it can i take care of it can i resole it because all those things are going to make a difference it really does matter uh what do you guys think about function and fashion uh boots let us know in the comments we did get some comments here hey ally marie you just found a few few days ago yeah we're giving away a pair of ariots today and you did have to enter for that ahead of time. Um, but we're doing giveaways all the time. So thank you for joining us today. I think I saw you, uh, you said with Brenna, you agreed. I'm just trying to find that. Where is the comment? It's always difficult to come back through here. <laughs> well, you get so many comments, but that's good. Yeah. People are paying attention. They want to talk too. They're having <laughs> fun. I love that. Yes. So. Yeah, Allie agrees with you about the uh, the fashion and function, and she's a smart girl. We're talking about squirrel skin boots in here. I don't know. I would pro I would rock a pair of squirrel skin boots. I would try that. Interesting, <laughs> Interesting choices. <laughs> cool. All right, now it's time to end off that segment with a little song here. All right, I'm gonna grab my phone so I can talk to people. All right, sounds good. Function and fashion Keep an eye out for long-lasting qualities, yeah So dashing with that function and fashion Keeping you worry-free, yeah <laughs> Huge thanks to Brenna for doing that segment Making my job easy today That's a great, great topic because there are a lot of questions about uh, About coming through and getting some new cowboy boots and a lot of people don't know where to start and I am always one to start to suggest starting on that uh, higher quality build but maybe not as well of a known name outside of the cowboy boot world so like Steve Madden and some of those other ones like Aldo or Sam Edelman is another one I see that we have here um, they get a lot of attention for those fashion brands but I don't know if they're always making them 
the right way. So it's 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 always better to do your research ahead of time for sure. And I think Carol said there is such a thing as um, fashion western boot. That is totally true. You can get a cheap pair of western style boots if you want to. Mm-hmm. That definitely exists. Or you can get a really expensive pair of something trendy. Mm-hmm. So both things exist. You have all your options. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Okay, let's do, I think it's time for another giveaway. Another little giveaway before we do the announcement for the winner of the Ariats. Uh, let's do, same thing as before, we're doing the CD, Gardener Hands, this is my first CD, uh, a Wallaroo phone wallet. This one's black. Yeah, that one's black, yeah. And another, uh, another, B- boot bottle opener uh, with Old Boots Got Soul on it and another Mariposa original piece of jewelry here. Let me pull that. I think this one is so pretty. Yeah, I really like this one. So this is made by uh, Mariposa original and it's got a nice free spirit feather on there it's, a, it's sort of like a bracelet it's really pretty it feels so nice it is it has a nice weight to it yeah it really it does definitely, it definitely is handmade it's very special Mona, it's monica makes some great stuff she really does i i am so impressed with mariposa originals you guys should totally go to her etsy and check it out the url is right there mariposaoriginals.etsy.com uh so much fun to see what she is making. And of course, she is very active in the cowboy boot community as well. So it's always nice to support those right here in our community too. So you guys know how this works. Um, I'm gonna put in comment now and every comment after that will be entered to win. Um, Okay, I don't know why that's happening. But, (laughs) so I got it up there now, and let me also tune really quick. I'm going to jump in the chat. Because I'm going to play a song called Dusty Vines. This song isn't out yet, but with the release of our new sort of tumbler set, I wanted to play this one because we are drinking some wine tonight. Yeah. In this house, we drink a lot of wine. Yeah, we do. It's my fault. Brenna loves wine. But it's actually good because uh, it's introduced me to a lot of different wineries around the country. And that's how I got to become familiar with the wineries in Arizona. And that's what this song is about. It's called Dusty Vines. The land is in the body of the west, and you can tell around harvest time. Yeah, the fruits of labor make it a grand one to savor, along with the struggle in the vine. You can make it on down to the Cochise County line with the arid air in your nose. Taste the toils and the triumphs. Feel the trails of the migrants without leaving to see where it grows. And I'll raise my glass up high. I'll raise my glass to the sky and toast to the whole desert away. Yes, the west is still wild when you look only for miles, but there's a new Wine from these dusty veins. It's the wine from these dusty veins. Yeah. Yeah. 
This has been the land of the fighters since we learned what it offered. And it's always rewarded the tough. And these vines would make those old gunfighters proud. Surviving no matter how rough. For war in this old desert, you gotta take what you can get. And get while the getting's good on the land. When the hard winds are bringing the rain from the south, you can get clusters that fit in both hands. And I'll raise my glass up high. Yes, I'll raise my glass to the sky. And toast to the whole desert away. Yes, the west is still wide when you look on it for miles, but there's a new kind of gold rush this time. Bring in the riches straight to your lips. It's the wine from these dusty veins. It's the wine from these dusty veins. Going up on the mesa with my dusty vino And I'm watching the sun go down I'll revel in the land's beauty and the wine in the glass And the fact that it came from its ground And i raise my glass up high Yes, i raise my glass to the sky And toast to the whole desert away Dusty Vines, Dusty Vines, that is not out on Spotify yet, but if you want to see it when it is, find me on Spotify, and all the links should be in the description for that. Cheers, cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers. All right, I'm stopping it there, stopping it there. Okay, now we have 29 folks on the stream right now. So, let me pull up the random number generator. And I'll do the counting. All right, you got it. It is, the number is, so go from Do you from want to the, go from the top or the bottom? Go from the top this time. I went from the bottom last time. All right, I got to scroll back. Scroll back, scroll back. Scroll, 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 scroll. <laughs> wow, so many comments this time. Did I pass it? Where'd it go? It happened so long ago. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I don't see it. Where is your comment? Oh, here it is. Here it is, right here. That's the winner right there. Katie? Katie DeTardo. Katie, congratulations! <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> yes. Congratulations, Katie. A lady winner. You got the bracelet from Mariposa Jewelry, Mariposa Originals. The Old Boots Got Soul uh, bottle opener from Twisted Will Fabrication. The CD and the Wallaroo boot wallet. So, I will check my data to see if I have you in there. And I will send you an email. Uh and if I don't, feel free to email me at uh, Jeremiah Craig, jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com or just go to my website, jeremiahcraig.com and contact me through the contact form there. So congratulations, Katie. Congratulations. Now. You're going to love it. It's, it's a beautiful bracelet. It's, it's so cool. It's such a great bracelet. 
Now's the time to announce the winner of the Ariad Arto Legacy Western Boots. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, now is the moment. The winner of the Ariat Legacy Arto Western Boots is Moses Miller. Congratulations, Moses. Oh, I'm sure your wife is going to be really happy with a new pair of boots. Yes. Woo! Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Moses. Oh, what a great, great giveaway. Uh, thank you guys for entering and for hanging out with me tonight. We're going to do another song here, and then we're going to stay on for a little bit longer and chat it up with you guys if you guys have any questions or want to talk about anything in particular. Um, and we can also play some more music as well. It's up to you. You so. did have a question about tips I saw. Someone was asking if they could send oh, you a tip. Yeah, I do have a tips. I do have a tip jar, everybody. It is jeremiahcraig.com slash tips. So I accept PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, um, all of those, whichever one is your favorite. I'm not going to um, try to argue with you if you want to tip me in any way. Um, also, buying some of this new awesome merch from Twisted Well Fabrication is also a good way to go as well. Um, Brenna, we're going to lose this battery really quick. Can you grab the other one mm -hmm. in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. I just got to switch this battery out real quick, and then I will play some more music for you guys. So just let me change the camera really quick to the webcam. Bam! Hey, everybody! This is what I live streamed through, and as you can see, the battery is dead. <laughs> and we don't look as good in this camera. No, it's just not, as not good. quite as good. <laughs> Here's the other battery. Thank you. So we can't plug in this DSLR, so we have to run it off of the battery. <laughs> not the best way to do things. This is a really unglamorous part of YouTubing. Yes, it's true. This is... Uh, I try to be as professional as possible until I lose all of my power. But you're doing a great job. This We're gives me time happen. to steal the show. Steal yes. the show, Brenna. We're running away with it, guys. What are you going to talk about? What are you talking about in the comments? Someone said, I'll buy you guys lunch next time in Massachusetts. Yeah, okay. Sounds good to Sounds me. Sounds good. <laughs> Let's go. And someone said, how are you, Jeremiah? I'm doing great. Spectacular. Thanks for asking. Incredible. Allie's going to put her horses to bed. Good night, horsies. See you later. Thanks for joining, Allie. Carol said, old boots got soul. Yes, they do. That's my uh, favorite song recently. <laughs> she's got it. She's been singing it because it's such a it's such a earworm. But I've been singing it. Uh, I like to add instead of like the old boots got soul. I like to do moldy boots got soul just because it's funny and you could even do bold or sold boots got mold i don't know it's just fun yeah you do whatever you want we've been running with <laughs> we've been running with a bunch of different parodies of that <laughs> um someone said how much did i wear boots before i met jc um i not very often my mom had a few pairs of vintage boots that I would wear every now and then that mm -hmm. I kind of like stole from her when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. um, but they were like cheap vintage boots, so they were like really stiff and tough to wear. But yeah. I think you actually introduced me to my first pair. They were Abilene's. Yep. And you also had a pair of Justin's. Remember that? That your mom gave you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, but you didn't like those ones at all. No, you she, she had the Justin's before, before she met me. Yeah. Well, I know better now. It's been uh, it's been fun. It's been a learning process. I feel yeah. like I've learned about boots through you, and then you learn about wine through me. So we can share our hobbies. It's true. I have learned a lot about wine, like more so than what I'm probably comfortable talking about. <laughs> 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 oh, you want to hear? She knows where to go, Lucas. That's a good one. I could do that. That's a good one. Sure. I was going to play 
viaduct, but I'll play it after this. the trail soon are through she's left there on a dark avenue so far from home left all alone but she knows where to go She don't have to face that shame, no She know where to go She know where to go She know where to go But she's too young to know That she Her old friends, the sellers, they're all gone And others have stowed away before the dawn Dark clouds will soon make their rounds But she knows where to go That bench offers no protection from the rain She don't have to face that shame, no, no She know where to go She know where to go She know where to go But she's too young to know That she knows where to go Well, to face this curse For the first time hurts the worst But she won't lose Just look at the clues All she longs to find the new place without finding any lines to trace her past behind she has the time yeah. she know where to go don't have to deal with that pain She don't have to face that shame, no She know where to go yeah. She know where to go She know where to go She's too young to know That she knows where to go Where well, she paces to and fro That was She Knows Where to Go, and that is on my first album, Gardner Hands. 
So Katie and Lucas, you both get that in the mail coming up here shortly. Cheers. Thanks for that. Everybody else can listen on Spotify. Yeah, you guys can also listen on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever <laughs> else you have no, you can hear music. So. But I love that song. I think that's such a good song. It's so relaxing. Yeah? It's a good, like, bedtime song. Yeah, I know? don't play it enough. I'm ready for a nap now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we still got 20 minutes that we got here. So what do you guys want to talk about? Plus, plus I started late, so I feel kind of bad. Hey, Abel, good to see you. Yes, Isaac, that is on Spotify. Just search Jeremiah Craig and you'll find me. I would pull up my like special thing here, but I seem to be having a problem with that one too. So I have there's so many gremlins, so many gremlins in here. <laughs> it's a full moon or something. Mercury's in retrograde. I don't know. Something's <laughs> happening in the celestial town. Something, something. So how are you guys feeling? Seems like people are feeling pretty good. Yeah. You guys want to talk about it? You got any questions? Or you want to hear some more music? What are you guys feeling? I think I'm going to play some more music here. Uh, someone asked for the One Shot song. Oh, you guys want to hear One Shot? We could do that. That's actually the next one that I'm going to be releasing. So I have What's after coming out next Friday and be sure to follow me on Spotify to get notified of that but I'm sure that if you follow me on anywhere else you'll also know that I'm releasing a song that day it's kind of impossible <laughs> yeah so I'm in the process of recording this one now uh, for the next release and this is called One Shot and if you aren't familiar with the story behind this song back in the old west you used to be able to trade a 45 caliber bullet for an ounce of alcohol. And some say that's why we call it a shot of liquor today. A shot of whiskey, a shot of vodka. It's because you could trade a bullet for it if you didn't have any money. Pretty cool, huh? It's a really good trade. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a story around that saying. Coming off the trail with Wyatt, Bat, James, and Virgil, and we were thirsty for some whiskey but had not a penny to our names. My boots were too dusty and my muscles too tired to sit with some inbreds and lie through my teeth for a few card games. The other four boys got a table and I moseyed on up to the bar. They often joked there was more silver on my tongue than in all of Tombstone. I said, Barkeep! We came in only with our guns and good looks We ain't good with a broom, ain't good with the books But a drink would liven up our weary bones What do you say? He said Empty your wheel gun out on the bar And we'll see how many rounds there are It's one shot for one shot And I only deal in 45s One shot is all you got Yeah, you got one shot for your life. Oh. Well, I looked at the bullets, but I looked longer at the bottle. As much as I hated to part with those five rounds, life's for taking chances. So I told the boys they had a deal, and they all came off all their drinks. Then my eyes stopped at the stairs, and Big Nose Kate and I were exchanging glances. Last I saw her was when the Rangers took me from her bed, but she helped me escape before they could put a rope around my neck. She walked on over to where the mouth breathers were playing. One spotted a curse at her. I guess they weren't playing with a whole deck. No. I said, you got one shot to apologize or I'll put one shot between your eyes. It's one shot for one shot and I only deal in 45s. One shot is all you got. Yeah, you got one shot. For your life And then he said something dumb like he don't apologize to horrors So I figured he was asking for all the things that would come next I still had my whiskey in my hand when he reached for his gun 
But he was all wrist and it's all hip, so I kept my word a la tete. And then I was empty, but I hadn't spilled a drop. His friend made a move, but I was quick to my knife. Yes, he knew he'd been beat by the shine of the blade. I finally drank and said, give me your bullets, and I'll let you leave with your life. Well, before he ran, he let them fall on the ground. And I bought the boys and Kate another round. It's one shot for one shot, and I only did. One shot is all you got, yeah, you got one shot for your life, yeah, <laughs> all right now. One shot, one shot, that should be coming out here in the next, I don't know, few weeks or so, about a month. Guess what? What? So, Lucas, the first giveaway winner, yeah. said he already has pretty much one of everything. Yeah. But he still wants the necklace. So, he said you should give away you should give away the Wallaroo, the Whoa. bottle opener, and the CD to somebody else. Okay. We could do that. So, let's do it. That's very generous of you, Lucas. Yeah, thank you, Lucas. Thank you. Okay. So, so he, he wants to keep the necklace from Mariposa Originals, which I don't blame you. So we have a CD up for grabs because Lucas has is one before. He's been with us for a long time here. Um, a Wallaroo phone wallet, which also works inside of a boot, a tall boot, not one of the booties like booty. we're we're talking about down here from Ariat. And also an old boots got soul bottle opener from Twisted Willow Fabrication. Oh, and before we do this giveaway, I just want you guys to know that if you want anything, let me see if this one will work. Okay, yep, it works. So uh, if you guys want anything from Twisted Willow Fabrication, whether you need something engraved like this uh, on a mug, or if you need some actual uh, metal fabrication work, go to twistedwillowfabrication.com. And if you uh, contact them through that website there, um, then you can get 10% off when you mention that you know me so that's a pretty good deal depending on what you're getting right pretty good deal you need a railing get 10 percent off Sounds yeah pretty good yeah for real <laughs> 10 percent off guys so let's do the giveaway i'm gonna do the comment here this is gonna be fun what what song should i do while we do the uh while we do the commenting portion of this um you were in kind of a fun mood what else are what what are fun songs you have uh, Nights and Weekends, uh, Thistle Bill. Thistle Bill is fun. You want to do Thistle Bill? Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we're going to play Thistle Bill, and while I'm playing that, comment now for a chance to enter. Thank you so much, Lucas. Rob, you are so right. Lucas is awesome. Ha, <laughs> I like this comment from JGR20. Texas is the greatest country in the world. Clearly, they don't have education in Texas. <laughs> Texas. Uh, that's, that's the Lone Star attitude right there. <laughs> Love it. All right. So this is a story from Washington State in the, the city of Bothell. Now, when the town was just starting out... They had just paved the roads, and they were really proud of their paved roads, but the postmaster thought that they could take it a little bit further, and he wanted to remove all of the blackberry bushes from the side of the road so people could stop safely alongside the road in the middle of the night and pee without dangerous situations happening from those blackberry thorny bushes. It's a men's only situation. It is a men's only situation. <laughs> So he made a, a bill. He wrote a bill that he would hope uh, be turned into law, and it was called the Thistle Bill. And uh, when I heard about this and read about it in the library, I just imagined him standing up in front of town hall, and it going something like this. We've done our part in paving the town for all the travelers on their way to the sound. But we can do better when the sun goes down and pave the way for sweet relief. 
So I introduce the good thistle bill to clear blackberry bushes from the side of the hill and next to the road and across from the mill to keep away unintended grief. Yes, we stand for freedom to travel around and to get relief anywhere it is found. So we'll dig up all of these thistles in sight so you don't prick your prick in the night. But wait, hold your applause until you hear the whole tale. It's short and it's sad and unequivocally male. Consuming all coffee that one can corral is the start of this fair warning. He stopped past the mill to find a tree, but with none to be found, he soon led Willie free. Among all the thistles then cried out bitterly, and we couldn't pull him out until the morning. Oh. Yes, we stand for freedom to travel around, and to get relief anywhere it is found. So we'll dig up all of these thistles in sight, so you don't prick your prick in the night. Consider this tale before voting today And think of yourself in a similar way Just then the whole hall rode with a number of yays We don't want our pricks pricked in the night Yes, we stand for freedom to travel around And to get relief anywhere it is found So we'll dig up all of these thistles in sight So you don't prick your prick in the night Thistle Bill, Thistle Bill, you can hear that one on Spotify, iTunes, and everywhere else. It's on my album In Vacant Dates and Intentions. You got a random number for me? Yep, I just gotta say stop first, and the random number, we got 25 folks on here. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. 10, you wanna go from the top or the bottom? Uh, go from the top and... The number won't be the same on your chat screen as it is on our chat screen. So when it says 10 for us, we see it, everybody sees it a little bit differently because of the way that time works on the internet. <laughs> it's complex, you know? <clears throat> Who is the winner? I am um, ready with the cheers button. Crockett. Summers. Crockett Summers, congratulations! Yes! You get the Gardner Hands CD, the Wallaroo phone wallet or boot wallet, and the Old Boots Got Soul boot bottle opener. This is stainless steel, will last you forever. Congratulations, Crockett. Congratulations. And what's your email again so we can get in touch with you? My email is, I'll put it in the chat. Yeah, I got it. It's you cool. You got it. I, it's cool. We got so much technology in this room. It's Bam. not even funny. It was, it was even in my um, saved responses. Well. Because I am putting in my email so much all over the place. What a modern millennial. Modern millennial world. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the greatest. Thank you so much for joining us today. Mm. 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 So good after talking. It's still cold. Mine doesn't yeah. have a top on. It's and it's still, still cold? cold? That's what yeah. I'm talking about. That's you guys got to check it out. Check out the new merch. I got a bunch of stuff on my store, so check it out. I'm going to be releasing more stuff soon, too. And plus, if you get the uh, any mug right now, you also get the code on the back, which gives you access to the Boots and Ballads Vault. And you can get some of the first, the earliest tests that we've done of the belt buckles and the belt buckles are sweet i think i have an example yeah i got one right here check them out so this is what they're like made by twisted willow fabrication it won't focus but you guys can sort of get the idea is it gonna focus is it gonna focus there it goes pretty sweet right pretty sweet and then actually these will actually have the code on them too so you can get them for $15 
in the Boots and Ballads vault, and they're going to be going for around 39 when I actually release them in a few weeks. So uh, it's, it's awesome. Awesome. These, these mugs are sweet, and plus you get the bonus of the Boots and Ballads vault access. Cheers to you. Welcome back, Allie. Horses sleeping soundly. She said they got their dinner. Oh. And she's back to hang out. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks for coming back. That was very nice of you. I think I'm going to play one more song. This is a song called Viaduct, which is also on the album that uh, Crockett just won. And, I love this song. And Katie won earlier. Congratulations again to Moses for winning the boots. Mm-hmm. His wife is going to be very happy. Mm-hmm. Well, they have that beautiful new baby. Yeah. The reason we know that is because they are in the boot group on Facebook. If you guys aren't in that group, you should definitely join because yeah. it's a whole fun community. It's so much fun. Uh, the short link to that is jeremiahcraig.com slash boot group. Um, it's, it's so much fun. That, that group is awesome. So um, we're always doing fun things in there. So this song is called Viaduct. I broke my suitcase on the viaduct in Miss Pross. Said she'd sew a new handle on. I met Ramona in the waiting room and we decided to get lost in the Gamelon. Yes, she took me up to the attic now to tell me more about how she was feeling. And we laughed when I lost my shirt and my foot fell through the ceiling, through the ceiling now. He was shaking them trees as I was crossing over the interstate. He was done reaching at them prickly pears, finally trying to put on a little winter's weight. Yes, he told me to come stand upon his shoulders, cause the ones at the top are the sweetest, and I know first Above on the viaduct, yeah. Now I make no haste, cause if it goes to waste, it was meant to perish. Now I make no haste, I take a good taste. One that I can cherish now, one that I can cherish now. can think whatever they please but to me it feels just as real maybe even a little bit better see I got no problem with frozen custard meals (laughs) and I'll probably stay up here quite a bit longer yeah see I'm just liking it this way and I think I'll be just fine staying here the rest of my days, rest of my days. I wave, wave, wave from above and I wave, wave, wave that's you love and I wave, wave, wave from above on the viaduct, yeah. Yes, I wave. 
Thank you so much for joining me for this Boots and Ballads giveaway, the Ariat Legacy Arto Edition. Huge thanks to my wife, Brenna, also for helping me out during this live stream. I think we will be doing more of these in the future. What do you think? Yeah, for awesome. sure. Awesome. Let's do it. You got fun people on there. Yeah, this is why I like to do all of these all the time, because you guys are so much fun. Uh, live streaming and chatting with you guys is the best. So... Huge thanks to everybody. The next giveaway is going to be September 6th. And for everybody still on the stream, it's going to be for... Oh, oh my. They all want to come. We're doing... We're going to be doing a working boot edition since it's going to be Labor Day. The giveaway is going to be for Hondo 7875s. This boot right here, it's a retan boot, one of Hondo's most popular, and it is badass. So, a little sneak peek for everybody who stuck with us this entire time. Thank you so much, Brenna. Thank you for joining me, too. Of course. You guys are the best. Remember to stay happy, healthy, and smart out there. Cheers, everybody, and congrats again to all the winners tonight. Peace, everybody. Have a good one. Super fun. Super fun.